106.5 FM, and we are at the beautiful Crab Apple Kroger today for a cooking demonstration with Chef Joe from Chefs USA, courtesy of Naturally Fresh Dressings. If you haven't tried them, they're great for marinades and dips, not only for your salad. And he's going to make a dish called Caesar Chicken Orzo. He says, even I can do it. I've already had it. A bunch of us have tasted it. He said you can make it in less than 10 minutes. So, Joe, with that, what do we start with? We're going to do a very simple thing. I, it only takes a minute to do, obviously. A little bit of time involved in the preparation. I've already diced some onions. I've already cooked some of the uh, orzo pasta according to the manufacturer's directions. And I already have some diced cooked chicken breast. Just took a chicken breast, cooked it, baked it. I basically roasted it in the oven, diced it up. But you could use a, a rotisserie chicken breast and just pull the meat off and dice it up and it would work just as well. I have my pan on, a little flame, a little heat, put a drop of the private selection extra virgin olive oil in my pan. And you see it's already starting to smoke, so I'm ready to throw a little bit of onion in there. You could use shallot if you'd like. I think the recipe calls for a quarter cup of onion. And that's basically a quarter cup of onion. So throw a quarter cup of onion in there. You just want to toss it around a little bit, get a little bit of color out of it. Looking good. Got a little bit of color starting to happen on the edges of the onion. So I'm ready now to throw in my diced cooked chicken. And so here's some diced cooked chicken. It was a bone-in split chicken breast. And I believe the recipe calls for a half a cup or so of the, uh, the split chicken breast or eight ounce portion. We'll give that a little toss too. Now it's already been cooked and chilled, so I'm heating it up. The Kroger Private Selection Black Olive Tapenade. This is just an olive salad. It's been chopped up. It's got a little bit of a, it's got a little bit of red pepper in there. It's the uh, sweet red pepper, not the hot red pepper. It's got a little bit of some uh, fresh herbs or some herbs in there, and some different olives. Very tasty. Excellent condiment, especially if you like black olive and you like the flavor. So we put about a tablespoon of the olive tapenade. We also got the roasted red pepper here, private selection red pepper. It's not in the recipe, but it's a fantastic addition that you could do. Now at this point, we're going to throw a little bit of Chardonnay in there. It's a little white wine. Actually, this may even be some Pinot Grigio. Put a couple ounces in the pan. This is just to finish heating up the, uh, the chicken, kind of warm up the tapenade. The recipe has you take the, this preparation and pour it over the prepared pasta. What I'm going to do today is take the pasta and pour it in there and heat it up as well. But either way, it would be fine. And so we're just going to toss that a little bit to heat it up, get it nice and warm. So we got the chicken, and we've got the orzo pasta. And the, the private selection orzo pasta, it's like a little tiny pasta. Actually what they do is they use the same dye that you would use for a linguine, and they just cut them into little small pieces. And it, and it looks a lot like rice when it's cooked up. Yummy. And so everything's pretty warm, so at this point I'm going to turn the heat off, since I know everything's nice and warm. And I finish, of course, with the naturally fresh Caesar dressing. Now remember, naturally fresh dressing, no preservatives, so it's always sold refrigerated in the produce department. This and all the other proud naturally fresh products can be found in the produce department, refrigerated. I like the Caesar dressing, it's going to have that, you know, a little bit of cracked black pepper and the garlic. It's just a wonderful. Of course, we can put just a drop of salt, and that's the private selection sea salt and a little extra fresh cracked black pepper on there. And we're done. So who would like to come try some? All right. Let's line up. So that was less than five minutes. It's pretty simple. It is. Very simple. You need to boil this pasta before you... Yes, sir. Yeah, you want to boil it in a generous amount of, uh, of water that's salted. 
I actually, for this particular recipe, since I had the, uh, the split bone in chicken breast, mm -hmm. I made some stock with the bones afterwards and I cooked the pasta in the stock. So if you make it at home and it doesn't taste quite exactly like it, then that may be the difference, but it shouldn't make that big a difference. Hi, I'm Vicki Locke from B98.5 FM and we are here cooking while Chef Joe is cooking at the Crab Apple Kroger in Alpharetta. It's a fantastic dish, takes about 10 minutes or less, thanks to our friends at Naturally Fresh. So, we would like to taste it, wouldn't we? Yeah. And tell us a little bit about what this dish is. Well, it's, it's a very simple preparation. We just use some cooked chicken breast, diced up, mm. and naturally fresh Caesar dressing and some cooked orzo pasta. A little private selection, uh, black olive tapenade, and that's it. It's a very simple preparation. Once you have the ingredients together, it takes about five to six minutes to make. It only takes about 10 minutes to get the ingredients together. So you can be from start to finish done about 15, 20 minutes. Even me? Even you, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Joe. We're doing these demonstrations all around town. So check out our website, b985.com, to find out which Kroger location we will be at next. Bon appetit. Mmm, delicious.